minute fat loss workout. And uh, today we're gonna pair up a couple of exercises. We're gonna do an overhead press with a squat. All right, so uh, we're gonna follow the typical format, 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. And we're gonna do four rounds of it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with your overhead uh, shoulder press. So just uh, grabbing your dumbbells and then really just uh, put them up about shoulder height. Doesn't matter if you have them with your hands facing this way or if you have them this way, keep it to whatever works for you, whatever's comfortable. Main thing is we want those shoulder blades back real tight. We want your hips back just a touch so most of your weight is toward the back of your feet on your heels. And then it's just gonna be a straight press, straight up over your head in the line through your ear. All the way up and then pull straight down. Okay, from the front, what it looks like, remember we wanna frame the head. What I mean when I say frame the head is keep the arms in a straight line moving up and down that are close to your head. You don't wanna be doing presses in an arcing motion like this, okay? So keep them straight up, straight down, and really pull those shoulder blades together during your presses. All right, 20 seconds of that, you rest for 10 seconds, and then it's just a simple body weight squat. I'll show you from the sides. Uh, feet are about shoulder to hip width apart, toes pointed straight ahead. Make sure your toes are not pointing out to the sides. And then you can do just arms forward um, on your you know, hips, wherever you're comfortable. I kind of usually put my arms to here. Keep your trunk up, get your, your butt down and back, stay on your heels, and, and extend your hips and your knees at the same time when you come up. So you really want to be feeling a lot of the glute and the hamstrings. And also when you're squatting, you'll notice how I keep my trunk up tall here. I'm not squatting with my trunk falling down forward, okay? So when you keep your trunk up nice and tall, it's gonna require a lot of work from your abdominal complex as well. So a lot of good um, core muscles doing the work, you're gonna get a great core workout as well. Okay, so those are your two exercises. Again, 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest, do them for four rounds, and then uh, that's your four minute fat loss circuit.